Welcome back to Guns.com. My name is Taylor, and today we're gonna to be reviewing the Browning Challenger 3. This really cool old school 22 pistol was actually made between the 1960s and the 1980s. The particular one I have in my hands here today is 1984, which I could tell because on the serial number, there are the letters PW, which means 1984. This pistol was actually made in response to the Ruger Mark II, which is worth mentioning because at the time, the Ruger Mark II was the top of the line recreational 22 pistol. Before that, 22 pistols were really made just for outdoorsmen, hunting, that kind of thing. But Browning wanted to jump into the recreational market, so there came the Challenger. This particular one, you could really tell that they put a lot of attention to detail in terms of aesthetics, because again, they're really marketing it towards a recreational shooter. It's a beautiful gun. You have these nice stepped front sights instead of having this big blob of a front sight for a big blade. In the rear right here, they are match sights. And what's interesting about this is that if I go ahead and I pull back the slide, you can see that this rear sight is actually attached to the barrel, which they did for accuracy. Now, I will say that in handling this, it is pretty awkward uh, because you're, you're having to work around this mounting point for the rear sight, but the serrations in it are nice and deep, which make it a lot easier. A couple other things uh, worth mentioning that help with the accuracy is this five and a half inch bold barrel. It's also pretty hefty, it comes in at 35 ounces. It does have an alloy frame, which is a nice matte black finish. And the bluing on it is really nice and deep between the slide and the barrel here. It does come with one or actually two 10 round magazines and they are heel fed magazines over here. A couple other things that I just want to mention is this nice, beautiful browning gold trigger and of course the browning medallion. But I want to see how it shoots. We're here on the range, so let's go ahead and test her out. In shooting this gun, the biggest thing that I really notice is just how natural it feels in your hand. It has this really deep beaver tail and the grip angle itself is again, very natural feeling, which means that getting on target and acquiring that sight picture is that much easier. I will say I did notice that the action on this is not the smoothest and the trigger pull is pretty long and heavy compared to a lot of other 22 target style pistols. It was also pretty ammo sensitive. So I did try my trusty old bucket of bullets and this has a velocity of 1260 didn't like it so much. I decided to step it up and go to some CCI rounds. Again, it has a velocity of 1260, didn't like it. Moving on to some Federal, which had a velocity of 1240. This was a little bit better, but still not crazy reliable. The ticket for this is to have something closer to standard velocity. So moving to a Federal round that had a velocity of 1200 made this gun pretty reliable. The reason why I think that is, is because when this gun was made, high velocity 22 rounds weren't really a thing. So having something that was closer to a standard velocity seemed to be really key. Overall though, super accurate gun, and once I fed it the appropriate ammo, it was pretty reliable as well. I think that this is an excellent plinker for someone who is new to it. This is something that seems to be a lot of first timers gun, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of nostalgia and memories tied to the Challenger. And also if you're someone who is just looking to challenge yourself uh, with different targets, if you wanna do a bullseye style shoot, this is a great firearm as well. I hope that y'all have learned a thing or two about the Browning Challenger. And if you're interested in a firearm like this one, it's located on guns.com. We have other used and new firearms as well. Please comment, let me know what you thought about about this. I normally cover competition style guns, so this is a little bit different for me, but it was definitely a ton of fun. Share it with someone who you think might be interested in it. And of course, if you aren't already subscribed to us, go ahead and subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching. My name is Taylor.